Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the Arrowverse as a whole. Today we're going to be talking about some rumours that have been going around regarding a potential crossover that might have happened very recently in terms of filming. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So in today's video, we're going to be breaking down this rumour that has been going around online. It's been led to believe that it might be true, however, we can confirm that this never happened. So, the rumour was Javicia Leslie, during her Christmas break, went over to Toronto, which is about a five hour flight from Vancouver, where Batwoman is based, to film on the set of Titans Season 3. And so, this comes from a source that isn't very reliable, has a track record of making stuff up, and Canada Graphs, who obviously is the Vancouver guy, you know, in terms of what's happening there, in terms of the CW shows and stuff, he has confirmed that, in fact, Javicia never went over to Toronto to actually be on the set. And in the article that was released via a site that will not be named, they actually said that she was spotted on set, in costume and everything, but in fact, that is false. So anyway, Batwoman Season 2, this is a completely new take, a completely new character, and that is the context that we're going into. We're going to see her introduced to the Arrowverse, that being Ryan Wilder, played by Javicia Leslie, who is the new Batwoman, very very excited for the premiere next week we're going to be covering it on this channel because it's almost like a whole new show and i'm very excited to see her version obviously they've got a lot of stuff that they've got to figure out in terms of the story because there's a lot of stuff that's going to be left behind from season one due to kate not being around just due to the fact that yes the first title is Whatever Happened to Kate Kane, which is a reference to Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, that's a film. So they're going to be answering lots of questions in the first part of the season because that is going to be part of the mystery. However, that is going to be them kind of covering their tracks and they're going to be trying to fix stuff and, you know, introduce new stuff. And I'm most excited about them bringing in the new stuff rather than fixing the old stuff because you have a completely new character who is taking over the mantle as Batwoman. And I've liked the trailer so far. I think Javisa looks really good as Batwoman. So anyway, that is what's happening next week. The premiere we're going to be covering on the channel. We're going to make a review and everything and straight away when it comes out. And this year I'm going to be testing out because the UK, London is in lockdown and don't know how much to do. I'm going to be staying up in the evening. Obviously, this is like, you know, the evening for you guys in America and Canada and everything. And I'm going to be making videos straight away after Batwoman premieres on the CW. So we'll be uploading at a similar time to like when Paigey normally uploads because he always does it straight away after. I believe Eric actually does it pretty soon after normally. And basically what I would do because I'm, you know, completely in the wrong time zone. I normally wait till the next day to upload a review kind of like 5 p.m. UK time, which is pretty much, you know, early afternoon in America. However, we're going to give it a go and upload in the evening in UK time. So that's just after the CRB's premiere in America. So that's just a quick update in terms of our update schedule for the videos that are coming soon for the Arrowverse shows as they are finally returning. And I'm so hyped for it. And I'm sure most of you guys are really, really hyped for the return of the Arrowverse. It's been a long time. You know, nearly nine months or something, I believe, since we last got some of these shows, obviously excluding Stargirl. But let's just break this down, okay? Titans, Batwoman, crossover. We know that Titans is a part of the Arrowverse. It exists. That was established in Crisis on Infinite Earths because there was the cameo scene where we saw Robin show up and I believe we saw a few other people and you had Doom Patrol and Stargirl and Swamp Thing. So they basically confirmed, yes, there is a bunch of other Earths out there in the multiverse still, but it's not the Earths we used to, you know, like on The Flash, like Earth 2 used to be Harry Wells' Earth and everything like that. And then you had like Earth 19, which was Supergirl's Earth, but most of them were destroyed or they were merged and they actually created new ones. And that's why you have like Titans and Doom Patrol, Swamp Thing and Stargirl being added into the mix because it's like a completely new multiverse. So I really like the concept that they are involved and they are linked together. However, I think a crossover between Titans and Batwoman is very, very unlikely unless there was some sort of seismic event like Crisis on Infinite Earths, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. 
due to restrictions and obviously that they're not going to have a big crossover this year so it seems pretty impossible so basically the rumor that was going around was that Javicia Leslie was spotted in Toronto which is about five hours away like I said before on set in the Batwoman costume with the Titans cast and crew and I mean it doesn't seem too out there because yes she can't fly down to LA to do some promotional photos like they normally do because of restrictions right now and yes potentially I don't know I'm not aware of the rules in Canada right now in terms of restrictions in terms of traveling she could totally go to Toronto as far as I am aware especially whilst the show is not filming because that one I believe is still on break and maybe is going back sometime next week or so and we'll get to the updates as to the other CW shows in terms of the filming schedules and when stuff is going to be dropping but it's just really really unlikely that she would make that trek all the way over Canada literally Toronto is on the east coast Vancouver is on the west coast it's like a five hour flight but the reason why it kind of sounded reasonable at first when some of us saw it online when we first saw the rumor before we realized what site it was from is that the two shows actually do share some similarities and that being Gotham mainly because Titans obviously has a lot of Bat Family characters like, like Nightwing and Robin and then you have the Bat Family stuff over on Batwoman so yes she is in Gotham City, they visit Gotham quite a lot on Titans so it doesn't sound that ludicrous that they might use each other's sets however the big ludicrous thing is it is far away and I'm pretty sure the Titans set might not have been operating over Christmas I can't confirm that maybe it was however most of the shows aren't back to filming barring The Flash due to The Flash's many delays in terms of filming because they had a bunch of shutdowns so that is pretty much what is going on on with that rumor that rumor is fake and she didn't actually go over to Toronto to the Titans season 3 set and as far as we know there is no crossover coming and potentially on the Arrowverse this year we might not even get that proposed Batwoman and Superman Lois crossover due to what's going on right now and considering that Superman Lois is really far behind her on like episode 4 and Batwoman's on like episode 9 or 10 right now so they are completely out of sync and it wouldn't make sense to have a crossover like episode 5 on Superman and Lois so I think what they might do is just have the Diggle stuff that has been teased recently because David Ramsey's back in Vancouver actually right now prepping to come back that they may be just doing the Diggle stuff as their crossover stuff because he is set to appear on all of the shows David is going to be directing on all of the shows as well so that is going to be the sort of crossover I would predict and potentially they might link the stories and there'll be a reason for Diggle showing up on all of the different shows but yeah so I'm not even sure if the Superman Lois and Batwoman crossover is happening this year so it's very unlikely that Titans and Batwoman are gonna have a crossover anytime soon also considering the tones of the shows yes they're quite different however they do share similarities in terms of location and things like that so remember to let me know in the comments down below what do you think of this would you actually like to see a crossover like this happen sometime in the future before we end this video I want to go over and talk more about the stuff in Vancouver and what is happening in terms of filming we know the flash is back I mentioned that earlier in this video Canada Graphs was able to go onto the set the last couple of days I believe and he's been teasing some stuff on Twitter if you follow him over at Canada Graphs on Twitter and I'm sure we're gonna get those photos pretty soon because I know he took photos they've been uploaded to his Patreon as of right now so that's what's happening with the flash they are back to filming they are back early but in terms of the other shows you got Supergirl Melissa is in Vancouver and she has been back for at least four to five days because she had to quarantine team for two weeks because she came from LA that's where she's been this whole time where she normally lives and so she's gonna be sticking around in Vancouver until August at least due to the restrictions obviously if restrictions lift and travel between Canada and the US is free and you can go back and forth whenever you want obviously that gives them the option I'm talking in terms of actors and people on the set if they want to go back and forth between LA and Vancouver but it seems like most people are going to be sticking around in Vancouver for most of the season whilst they are filming and specifically Melissa 
due to her having her child, it seems like she wouldn't want to bounce back and forth. But yeah, Melissa is going to be playing catch up when she returns. Supergirl returns to filming on the 18th, so that is currently nine days away. So she's got a bit left in terms of her quarantine and then she returns pretty much like straight after her quarantine ends as far as I'm aware in terms of her scheduling. And then you have Batwoman which is really really far ahead, they're on like episode 9 or 10, I may be wrong, correct me if you know that in the comments down below. However, they are very far ahead, Superman Lois is on like episode 4 or something. They haven't returned yet, they're still on their holiday break, but you will see most of these shows returning at the same time as Supergirl sometime in the next week or so. So that is about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember guys, we are running this new thing and this is my first announcement in a video. If you click the join button and become a member of the DC TV show and I'll be announcing this more as we go ahead into the future and if you're on live streams and stuff, this is going to be something that will interest you guys. And for all of you who have been asking for other content on the channel that maybe doesn't do as well or less people are interested in, like maybe Batwoman or WandaVision or Black Lightning or something like that, we're going to be releasing exclusive videos for members if you click the join button and become a super friend today. You'll be getting those weekly videos, there's going to be lots of reviews for you guys if you are members, that is going to be a members only thing. So please be sure if you want to contribute towards the channel and you want to get those exclusive review videos week by week, day by day please be sure to click the join button next to the subscribe button below. But yeah, that is it in terms of announcements. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.